Hello and welcome to this, the April edition of the Digital Education Vlog. My name as always is Dummy Sinclair and I'm your friendly learning technologist. Let me just start by making a quick apology that there was no March edition of the vlog. Um, we were all busy at a conference called Moodle Moot um, and then with Easter the whole month just kind of ended before we were ready for it to end, um, which meant unfortunately there wasn't time to produce a blog. Um, however, um, hopefully we'll be able to cover everything today that we would have wanted to cover then. So the first thing to note um, is Turnitin version 1. Um, as you will hopefully be aware by now, we are planning on phasing out Turnitin version 1 and when we carry out the upgrade in the summer in July, then this version of Turnitin will no longer be available after that date. Um, I will link below this video in the description on YouTube to some more information about the migration from Turnitin V1 to solely using Turnitin V2. However, as part of this um, phasing out of Turnitin V1, um, as of the 22nd of March 2016, it's no longer possible to create new V1 assignments within UCL Moodle. So um, if you do need to create any new assignments, please make sure that they are version 2. If you have any assignments that are due after the Moodle Summer Upgrade on the 22nd to the 27th of July, again, please make sure that these are created using Turnitin V2. Another thing that I wanted to quickly mention to you all, um, other than obviously oh, reminding you that that summer upgrade is happening, 22nd to 27th of July 2016. Again, link to more information in the description below this video on YouTube. So one of the things that I did just want to give you a heads up about is some of the places where you can find a bit more information about um, things that are happening with our service. So two particular pages I wanted to highlight were the Turnitin service um, status page, which you guessed it will be linked below the description of this video on YouTube. Um, and that page is really useful because it will show you any currently known of issues with Turnitin and also um, what steps we're taking um, to get around those. Generally that's reporting it to Turnitin, um, but we'll update you as to whether they've let us know whether a fix is on the way or whether we've just kind of raised it with them and not heard anything back yet. Um, we'll also let you know if there are any workarounds we know about, you know, kind of things you can do to get it work basically how you want it to, even if they're not quite ideal. Um, and you'll also be able to see um, the turn in service. So we will update it if the service does ever go down. And you'll also see the um, turn in service status Twitter account, which is run by Turnitin, and that will let you know um, when there are any outages. You can also scroll back through the history of that to see when the last outage was if you do need that information. So that's one page. Another page is the new features page for Moodle. Um, again, there'll be a lot more fanfare about this as we move closer to the upgrade. Um, but this is a page where we will always include details about any notable new features, whether it's a minor or major upgrade to Moodle. Again, that will be linked in the description below this video on YouTube. Um, and please do look at that page that will have details and links to um, the fuller release notes if you do want to get into more of the technical details um, about that particular upgrade. So any of you who've been watching this vlog for a while will know that I am constantly threatening to make videos about my portfolio, our ePortfolio system here at UCL. I have finally carried out that threat and I will link to the playlist of those videos I've created in the description below this video on YouTube. So if you do want to check those out, they're on topics like collaboration, communication, um, and it's kind of an introduction as well. And they are a lot more about kind of what's possible with my portfolio rather than necessarily step by step. Um, screencast tutorials, so they're more to kind of give you a, a taste and a flavour for it so you can go and then play around on your own. Well that's all I'm going to talk about in this video, um, hopefully kind of keeping it slightly shorter than normal. Thank you very much as always for your attention. If you do have any questions please do contact the ISD service desk. They will be able to handle a lot of your queries and if they can't then they will escalate it to us in digital education. Thank you very much. 
Bye.